onto the large petals, the P5. I'm going to need three of those uh, petals, fabulous petals. And then the top layer, I wanted to distress it uh, with the white effect um, that you see in the red or the darker color anemone flowers. I just love that effect. Just, it's one of my favorite things to do. And for that, I've been using the crayon. Uh, it's called Art Crayons, the Vicky Boutin. Her collection is just amazing. And here it's the no neutral palette. There's eight colors and um, the neutral palette. And I like to use the white color here. So I'll just take that one out here. And look how great the colors are. Eh? It's not nice to fun, like so much fun to work with, you know, when you have to do some leaves or distressing on my paper flowers. I just love that. I'm just gonna rub my fingers a little bit. Okay. So to create that effect, I'm going to mark uh, the middle of my petal with the crayon a little bit and I'll use a sea sponge like this. This is an old one that I've been using and it's, you know, there's still that white on it. And I think by using that, it just makes my crayon last a little longer because you can still rub off the, the crayon that is on the sponge. So I'll do that for you. It just makes a few lines right here in the middle. Like this. And then with the sponge, I'm just going to blend it, blend the white onto the petal. See, just like that. And it makes that soft blended white effect in the middle on my paper flower. If you want it wider, you can add a little bit more crayon or not blend it as much, but I just like that soft blending effect. And then when that's done, I take all my petals, and of course I've been doing that for so long, so I'll just curl all of them together. And this curling technique is in the book as well. I have so many of my flowers that I make curling these petals one side up, one side down, like the gardenia, for example. <music>